Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you three delicious summer recipes. So I'm Kristen, I am the second oldest from SixSisterStuff.com and usually I'm sharing with you Instant Pot recipes, but I've been getting a lot of comments asking for just normal recipes. So these are actually three of my most favorite summer recipes. Now the first one is a raspberry dip and you can actually find it in our newest cookbook, Celebrate Every Season with Six Sister Stuff. Now believe it or not, we actually have six other cookbooks. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can check out all six of our cookbooks. All right, you guys, let's head on into the kitchen and I'm going to make these three delicious summer recipes. The first recipe is our raspberry fruit dip. You're going to take eight ounces of cream cheese that's softened and dump a half a teaspoon of cinnamon right on top of that. Next, pour in one teaspoon of lemon juice. Then right on top of that, you're going to add three-fourths cup of powdered sugar. When you've added everything, it's time to mix it together. I highly suggest using electric beaters for this. Now you want to mix it until it is all the way creamy and all of that powdered sugar is mixed in really well. Once it's all beat together, you're going to add a heaping cup full of fresh raspberries. You can use frozen, just make sure that they're thawed a little bit. Then you're just going to mix it all up again with the beaters. Now, if you like raspberry chunks in yours, don't mix it very much, but I like to have it all well combined together. Now it's time to get ready to serve it. So I just grabbed a glass bowl and I'm just gonna pour all of my dip right into it. Now when it's all done, I like to garnish the top of it with raspberries. Now you can serve this fruit dip with any kind of fruit, but I like to serve it with graham crackers or vanilla wafer cookies. The second recipe is one of my favorites. It's called loaded deviled eggs. So you're gonna take 12 boiled eggs that have cooled and cut them right in half. Then you're gonna place the yolks in a bowl and set the egg whites to the side. Next, you're gonna add either six bacon slices all crumbled up, or I like to use a fourth a cup of those already made bacon bits. Then I'm gonna grab some chives. You can grab green onions too if you want to and we're gonna add about two teaspoons of chives into the mixing bowl. Now, if you've never seen these teaspoons before, they're my favorite, because they're magnetic. So right now, I'm gonna add two and a half teaspoons of vinegar. Now, if you love Dijon mustard, I would say yes, add two tablespoons. If you don't like it as much, just add one tablespoon of the mustard. Next, I'm gonna measure out just two tablespoons of cheddar cheese. Now, for the seasonings, I'm just adding a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder and then about a fourth a cup of sour cream. You can add more or less depending on how much you love sour cream. Then you're just gonna mix it up. I like to use a fork so I can break all the yolks. Now you wanna make sure it's combined really well because no one wants a bite of just plain Dijon mustard. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit more sour cream to make it more creamy. Now it's time to fill up the eggs. Just be sure you're really careful with those egg whites because they will break easily. Once you're all done, I like to sprinkle a little bit of bacon on top or you can do a little more chives. Now for my last recipe, I'm gonna be making summer strawberry milkshakes. Now this recipe brings back so many memories because my mom used to make it for us. So first you're gonna add two cups of vanilla ice cream. Then pour on one cup of milk. You can use any kind of milk. Just know the creamier your milk, the creamier your milkshake. Then you're gonna add one pound of strawberries that I just chopped up. You can use frozen strawberries if you want to. Then, this is the secret, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now go ahead and put the lid onto your blender and you're going to mix it really well until there are no chunks. Unless, of course, you like the strawberry chunks, but I usually don't like chunks in mine. When it's done, you're gonna take the lid off and then pour it into serving glasses. Now you can half this recipe, you can double it if you want to. Whatever serving size you want, that's what you can make. Now if you wanna make it really fun for summer, you can add fun, colorful straws, and I like to cut a little slice of my strawberry and put it right into the cup. Now that fruit dip is from one of our six cookbooks. You can find it in the Celebrate Every Season 
it's in the summer section. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget, if you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next week. Bye!